So now let's see how we can work around with multicolor and transparency options inside of Tinkercad. So here you can see that there's a box, there's a cylinder, there's a sphere, and they are all separate objects for now. So if I were to select all of them, and if I were to click on group, then all of them are grouped out, as you can see right here. And then well, it takes one dominant color. But if I do not want one dominant color on the group, I can go around over here on to the color on the solid. I can click here and then I can simply enable multicolor, which allows all the colors in the group to be sewn, even if they are grouped together. So if you want to make around, let's say, for example, a complex object with multicolor, then you can use this option around. You can double click on this and edit individual objects as well. And there's one thing called transparency that you can enable, which makes the object transparent right here. So it does not actually work around in a group, as you can see. But if I were to ungroup this out, you can see that the transparency option is there. So you can make it look like a glass. I'm going to go around over here onto the solid. And if I were to enable transparency here, if I were to click on solid, click on transparency here, click on solid transparency here, this is what happens. So you can go around and see that now all of the objects are transparent as you can see. And that is how you can work around with the multicolor and transparency option inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.